This is uh, DeKalb County Sheriff Jeff Mann. I am um, responding to the recent media issues regarding one of our former recruits, Mr. George Ward. Um, I'd first like to say that uh, the Sheriff's Office condolences continue to go out to the family of Mr. George Ward, who uh, was a recruit with us back in May of 2013. Uh, unfortunately, second day of his physical training with the sheriff's office, uh, he passed out and later succumbed uh, as a result of a heart attack, according to the medical examiner. So then Sheriff Thomas Brown reached out to the family of George Ward at that time and expressed condolences. But I also I want to reiterate uh, our continued condolences, condolences and prayers uh, to this family. Uh, having said that, I stand by uh, the training uh, that is conducted by the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office. Each and every day, uh, our officers are faced with threats to their lives, the lives of their colleagues, the lives to the inmates, and ultimately the lives of the public. Uh, each and every day, there are fights between inmates, uh, almost 80 inmate on inmate assaults, during the first part, the first 10 months of this year, 2014, almost three inmate assaults on officers. So the very life, uh, the very life of our officers and inmates are at stake, and so it is necessary to undergo strenuous exercise in order to be physically fit to perform the, the, the job of a detention officer. It's not for everyone. Not everyone can do it. Oftentimes people fail to pass our jail school. Oftentimes people realize it on their own. Oftentimes we realize that they cannot perform the, the functions of a detention officer, either physically, mentally, or emotionally. And that's fine. Uh, we have to separate our ways. But I stand by are the tactics and the necessity for a vigorous training regimen in order to make sure that ultimately uh, our officers go home as safe as they arrive to work.